Good morning, everyone. I want to welcome you to the ACLU's annual Supreme Court breakfast. Steve Shapiro, our legal director, will give you a little bit of an assessment of where the court has come so far and what we might expect in the coming term. And now I'll hand the program over to Steve. What we uh, are beginning to see is a court that, using the mantra of judicial restraint, um, which it invokes selectively, um, I think, um, is increasingly closing the door uh, to civil rights claims and civil rights plaintiffs in ways that are quite troubling. There are a host of cases that uh, I fear may fly beneath the radar, uh, both of the press and certainly of the public in general, uh, that nevertheless could turn out to have enormous significance about how civil rights and civil liberties cases are litigated, especially in the federal courts, and who has access to the federal courts and what kinds of claims can proceed. Um, the court also has a very heavy docket this year in criminal cases. Um, I think there is a real risk that we will see a serious erosion in Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendment rights um, before the year is out. One of the cases is a case called Ashcroft versus Iqbal. The issue before the Supreme Court uh, is a pleading issue. The question is, when you sue a high-level government official for damages claiming a violation of your constitutional rights, what do you have to say in the initial complaint in order to proceed against that high official? Uh, the rule in the United States uh, for 70 years uh, had been that all you needed to do was to assert sufficient, um, make a claim uh, that if you were able to prove a trial, uh, established that your constitutional rights had been violated. We had a system of notice pleading. As long as the defendants were on notice about the claims against them, it was sufficient to move forward and, and cases would not be dismissed at the outset. Um, the government in the um, uh, Iqbal case uh, is now coming in and very aggressively arguing that when um, high-level government officials are sued, uh, it is necessary to include many more uh, facts and supporting evidence in the initial document, the complaint itself, even before any discovery uh, has taken place in the case. In order to establish, they would say, uh, that the charges that are being leveled against this high-level cabinet official are, quote, unquote, plausible. And what I fear is that the government is, is trying to get the Supreme Court to impose such a stringent level of uh, specificity on pleading requirements in civil liberties cases that it will be extraordinarily difficult to go forward uh, in many cases against anybody other than the immediate officers who were involved in the specific event. And one of the things we have seen in the post 9-11 world is how difficult it has been to establish accountability for people higher up the political, the political chain. One way you do that is through litigation and through the process of discovery. And if that is cut off at the outset, uh, I think it will be a serious blow.